Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nika. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping on by to watch my content. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys for coming on back and watching your girl's content. You are truly appreciated. So I've never done a video about being in Canada, or I think I have, but it's been like a few years since I have. So now that I have moved to a new province and I'm able to compare, you know, oops, I'm shaking my camera. I'm able to compare differences within both provinces that I have lived in. I'm here to share those differences with you and then have you decide if you're planning on coming to Canada or if you're in these provinces and you're trying to relocate, you'll make the best decisions for yourself. So if you guys would like to hear those tips, I don't think they're tips, but if you guys would like to hear my tips i guess then please keep on watching <laughs> so let's give you guys a backstory not really a backstory but give you guys context so i've lived in canada for seven years i moved to canada from jamaica 2014 and i moved to alberta and I lived in a small city called Lloyd Minister before. I lived in Lloyd Minister for about two to three years before moving to Edmonton for school for another two years before relocating to Ontario. So yeah, so I've been in Ontario now for a year, almost two, and I hope I don't move to another province again. If I ever plan on moving back to another province, Alberta is home. I loved being in alberta um so yeah let's start off the comparison the first thing that i want to start off with is tax i want to talk uh, start off with taxes because when your girl sees her paychecks i want to throw it in the garbage because the amount of money that they take from my paycheck for taxes is ridiculous so in Ontario, you pay 13% tax. I think you pay GST and HST. While in Alberta, you pay 5% tax. I hope this information remains the same. But when I left Alberta, I was only paying 5% tax. And I think you only pay GST. You don't pay the additional 8. Sorry, I wrote H. You don't pay the additional 8%, which is HST. So that was a, that was the beauty in itself in living in Alberta. Another thing is your insurance. I don't know if it's because cities in Ontario are more densely packed with people where you are at higher risk of getting into a collision while your insurance goes up so much. But yes, your insurance does go up when you move to Ontario. Um, in comparison to when we were living in Alberta, our insurance was never as high as it, as it was here and we have like a bundle of home and auto insurance and it's pricey it is pricey because too much people live in at one place another thing is i don't want to say cost of living because that's not it but cost of living in the sense of rent or owning a house cost of living in the sense of renting or owning a house is ridiculous the market right now is disgusting you for new home buyers i don't think anybody that does not already have their foot in the market is capable of getting their foot in the market if you're trying to become a home buyer because the market is so so horrible in ontario right now so that's unreal in comparison price wise in alberta we had a three bedroom, three, two and a half bathroom for less than $2,000. Like less than $2,000, the rooms weren't massive, but they were big and spacious where you could fit stuff in there. And then you move to Ontario and you're paying over $2,000 for a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom condo. And I'm like, what? I'm like really and the thing is I don't see how people are so eager to move to move to um 
Ontario and a lot of people, especially Jamaicans, let me speak about Jamaicans, a lot of people when they come to Canada, the only place they stay is in Ontario or in Toronto area. So they don't really get to venture out and have comparisons. So they think that what they're spending here, what cost of living is here is just the norm when it is not. Because in Alberta, Alberta livelihood was luxury when I tell you that. Another thing is um another thing is for certain professions, it depends on the profession that you're in, you get paid way better in Alberta, trust me. Like for my husband's job that he had prior to moving here, he was making I think twenty dollars more in Alberta than he makes here. So certain jobs they don't offer you as much um coins given that the province is so expensive i don't know why but yeah you make more money in alberta and i think you get to pocket more of your money back in alberta too so yeah i can give an example for one i know back in alberta you get i think you get less you get paid less as a nurse in alberta but then you move here and you get paid a bit more given the cost of living so i think they're trying to balance it knowing that they're gonna charge you a lot of taxes so they might as well raise the pay so everything balances out so i can only compare to compare that here as a nurse i got i get paid more than i would if i was in alberta but i still would go back there in a heartbeat because when i make my money i pocket my money the government don't take 13 percent out of my money so that's a huge difference um another thing is um i want to say cleanliness like the streets back in alberta were well kept i don't want to say i don't know if i should say cleanliness but let me just speak on a street point of view streets back home in um not back home but yes back home streets back in alberta are well kept they're maintained better um there's hardly any potholes because as soon as there's a pothole they fix it the mayor or whoever is in charge of where you live comes out and fixes it and makes sure that you're comfortable not saying that i'm not comfortable here but quality of life is different um, um i found albertans to be more friendly a lot of people say albertans are racist or not friendly but i have never in my life encountered racism or met someone who was unapproachable back in alberta i mean everybody every everywhere has its issues but i've never but since being here i have a story time for uno i have a story time for you guys since i've been here i have i have witnessed firsthand racism i'll give you guys a story time soon but yeah trust me it's coming it the story time is coming but yeah the thing i loved about um living in alberta is the scenery is amazing like the scenery in alberta is phenomenal i won't lie breathtaking if you go to banff in the banff area it is beautiful like sightwise scenic views very beautiful i love that about being in alberta and the last thing i will shed light on or compare is winters winters here in ontario are warm winters here are warm in alberta in alberta you get winter at minus 50 with wind chill so imagine the winter there in alberta is so dry you will moisturize your face and by the time you step outside it is the moisture is sucked out of your face like literally sucked out of your face so winters in alberta are brutal i don't think it's good for anybody's skin but you know we make it do what it does in alberta um i want to say winters here are they're cold but they're not as intense because 
last year last winter i don't think it got higher than minus 10 when and i was like okay where's the cold when is the cold coming and it never came the chill just came it was just chilly but that's for me because i i have lived in alberta where i can compare the harshness of winters compared to ontario so i've only had one winter in ontario which was never cold to me it wasn't cold because it never got above minus 10 which to me is warm um the next comparison is the length of time which winter sticks around in alberta sometimes snow begins to fall from september it'll fall and then go away and then by november it really hits snow really hits in november and it doesn't stop until i think mid or late may so winters are about six to seven months long in alberta but while in ontario snow didn't fall for me here in ontario until close to christmas and then by late january february there was no more snow it was all melted but it was still chilly you know so winters are nothing to play with in alberta but i still love it there um yeah i think that's everything but yeah um i think those are my little few things that i have to compare for now i may come back and do more canada update videos for you guys if you guys are interested in hearing those stuff um yeah so without further ado thank you guys how did i say without further ado <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye